strips will be coming as well. If you have a pen, you can write these strips down. We'll be coming from Jeremiah, the 14 chapter, the first to the 16 verse, Acts 26 chapter. And I'll be coming from Exodus, the 24th chapter. You can read this on your, read your time. Exodus, the 27th chapter. Exodus, the 32nd chapter. Right now, I'm going to deal with Luke, the 6th chapter, and then we're going to first. Praise be to God. Just bear with me. Praise be to God. And he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall in the ditch? Well, Praise be to God. Jesus, he statement it to warn us to be careful whom we follow. Amen. If a leader can't be no more than those who follow, it's their trouble for both of them. Praise be to God. There's a spiritual trap pursuing themselves as a guide to the blind through their lives. And then they don't even qualify. They don't even qualify to lead you. Praise be to God. It's also a warning to the leadership that follow Jesus. A Christian cannot hope to act as a guide to others unless himself is clearly see where he's coming from and where he's going. Praise be to God. Like the Pharisee, praise be to God, they was men, they was priests. Uh, they thought they knew everything. That's right. You couldn't tell them nothing. Amen. They were priests. Oh, yeah. Had these nice, big, beautiful robes. But you know, sometimes they was looking for the Jewish people, was looking for the Messiah. They was looking for somebody to deliver them, to fight their battle, and everything. But God sent this humble land. Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, I like this part where he said if uh, the blind lead the blind, if they're not careful, they both will fall in the ditch. Yes, and, and if you ever seen a ditch, if you're from the south, there's a, those are big ditches down there. Really, really and if you got into that ditch, really especially at night, yeah. you can't get out. Yeah. Especially on those dark highways yeah. with no cars, no people, yeah. and you just Listen, listen, listen. You're in that ditch. And you're thinking, how in the world am I going to get out of this ditch? There's nobody in sight. And you know, like the blind man, Barnabas by the wayside. He heard about this man, Jesus. See, well, sometimes you, you grow up in the church, and I'm quite sure the neighbor that told you about Jesus, mom and dad I told you about Jesus, and all of a sudden you strayed away. And all of a sudden, life trials become so much and the devil began to switch you like wheat when you hear throwing you down. Then here come that alcohol problem. Well, then come that drug problem. Right. Then come that woman problem. Mm -hmm. Then come that man problem. Come on, then man. come that suicide problem. On, the devil began to work on every oh, hand. But all of a sudden you remember what mama said. If you just call on Jesus. Yeah. See, mom and daddy will be with you all the The Lord didn't put us here to be here forever. But Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to come back to claim you for myself. There's going to have to be some house cleaning up in here. Yeah. You cannot get to heaven any kind of way. I don't care what kind of deeds you do. I know it's communion. I don't care how many foots you wash. I don't care how much beautiful clothes you put on. But if that heart is not right before God, right. if they're not serving God that are clean and are praying and are right in the heart, praise be the Lord. Amen. See, a lot of people is blind. Come on now. Blind to the spiritual things of God. Mm -hmm. And you know what those spiritual things are? Love, joy, me, kindness, long suffering, Endurance. That's true. Those are things that I eyes need to be open to. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Those things where the eyes are blind, there's hatred. Mm -hmm. Deceitfulness, criticism, backbiting. Yes. Those things. Uh, those things. Uh, if you fall in your category, how time you to repent? Amen. That's right. To repent. Go ahead. Oh. Because you're not even to myself. Yes. Yes. Going in God's kingdom, talking about you. Yes. 
so good that I can get my healing. I hope you will get your healing. The truth will die. You don't I brought Egypt. I brought the Jewish. I 
know, when you're blind in the world and the cares of the world, blind you of the spiritual thing that God has in store for you. You complain to children, but you're the complaint. God gave them, he said, wait a minute, the miracle he brought them. Thee 
up out of the land of Egypt. How can you turn their back on God? And you're going to taste the Lord to see that his glory. All of that we make excuses so much I can't take it. That's a lie from the devil pit. Somebody can went back in the ditch. Hallelujah. And they don't even know they're in the ditch.
But hallelujah, God, I got to give an account to Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, when we get before Jesus, it ain't that, Lord, I just didn't have enough time. Hallelujah. He said, but I believe he can say, but did I give you an ample amount of time? Hallelujah. There's no excuse for not serving the Lord today. None whatsoever. All the excuse will never come upon a person. All the truth that I'm going to go. Hallelujah. Amen. Let Jesus bear the cross alone. And all the world go free. No. Hallelujah. There's a cross for everyone. There's a cross for me too. Hallelujah. God again. Yeah. Yeah. And he gave his only begotten yeah. son. Yes, he did. Yeah. That 
Somebody said to God, still work miracles? Yes, yes, yes. He's a miracle working God. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Hallelujah, God is. Yes. God is a miracle worker. Hallelujah. He's touching right now. Hallelujah. He's touching right now. Miracle work. He's touching right now.
God, this is Pastor Watkins from Community Revival and Outreach Ministries. I trust that you enjoyed that wonderful service we just uh, had, and I trust the Lord that it touched your heart and your spirit, and it also inspired your soul. But beyond just listening to a message, we also ask you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And how you do that, you just simply ask and bow before Christ. And if you're willing to lay hands upon your TV or bow your heads right where you are or sitting, if you just bow your head with me and we'll pray the prayer of faith. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for all things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that you forgive us of all our sins and have mercy upon our soul, and that not only you save us, O Lord, from our sins, but, O Lord, that you would sanctify our hearts and sanctify our souls, as well as, O Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We accept you, O Lord, into our hearts and our life. We confess our sins, and we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. And by believing and accepting this, O oh Lord, we claim to be saved in his holy name. We give thanks and praise for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I trust the Lord that your heart is fixed with the Lord and that your blessing will be assured and that you'll come out and fellowship with us. And if not with us, your, your own local church in your area and that God will be a blessing to you until we see you again. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.